Hello everyone and welcome. Generally, I've been putting musical versions in the descriptions of each psalm in, on the YouTube channel for you to look at. Today I'm going to read uh, what's called a metrical psalm, a translation of the psalms into meter that could be sung or recited as poetry. These were especially popular in the 17th century among English Puritans. We still have many of them around today, though. They're still being translated, and, and I shouldn't say translated because most of them take uh, a pre-existing translation into English and simply put it into verse. Um, that would be what was done with some of the most familiar of them. Ones like, um, O oh God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast and our eternal home. Under the shadow of thy throne, still may we dwell secure. Sufficient is thine arm alone and our defense is sure. When we get to that psalm, you'll see that that's underneath in the description with a link to it. Today, there is a link to a piece of art. All this week, there will be visual arts to look at, and uh, it'll be an especially uh, impressive one when you take a look. But also impressive is this metrical translation, which was a translation direct from the Hebrew into English, but done metrically on August 14th, 1653, by one of the very few people in the history of the um, biblical studies or the English language uh, who was capable of doing that and so much more. This is by John Milton. He translated many of the Psalms uh, in this fashion, but never the whole book. And so here it is from John Milton, Psalm 8. O Jehovah, our Lord, how wondrous, great, and glorious is thy name through all the earth. So as above the heavens thy praise to set out of the tender mouths of latest birth, out of the mouths of babes and sucklings, thou hast founded strength because of all thy foes, to stint the enemy and slack the avenger's brow that bends his rage thy providence to oppose. When I behold thy heavens, thy fingers art, the moon and stars which thou so bright hast set in the pure firmament, then saith my heart, oh, what is man that thou rememberest yet, and thinkst upon him? Or of man begot that him thou visitest, and of him art found? Scarce to be less than gods thou madest his lot, with honor and with state thou hast him crowned. Or the works of thy hand thou madest him lord, Thou hast put all under his lordly feet, all flocks and herds by thy commanding word, all beasts that in the field or forest meet, fowl of the heavens and fish that through the wet sea paths and shoals do slide, and no, no dearth. O Jehovah, our Lord, how wondrous great and glorious is thy name through all the earth. And if that's amazing, Look at the stars.